Hi guys, Kat here. I just want to do a quick video to share with you some of the tools that I use in creating my art. I often get asked, Kat, what kind of tools are you using? Because you're doing so many different things. And I thought I would share with you that it's super easy. Um, I'm not precious about what art tools I have. As long as I can draw with it and it's a bit of paper, then I'm good to go. Um, but I will show you what I've got um, in my pencil case. So, I have a pretty big one here because uh, I do have a lot of art supplies. I do love art supplies. Um, so for drawing, I use a pacer, a good old pacer. I find it just so much easier than a regular pencil. Um, just because it's nice and fine. I really like fine lines to draw with. I find that easy. Um, that's just from Office Works, and it's a 0.5 that I like to use. Eraser. And I also like those kneadable racers. You know the ones that are like blue tack? I think they're pretty cool too. So I don't know where mine is. The last one I had, my daughter took and used it to make some crazy slime concoction. So she's kind of run with that um but yeah in the meantime i just use these ones which uh from office works you probably remember them from high school uh i like them because i can get in nice and fine to rub out what i need to so that's good um then for markers so i do a lot of line drawing and doodles and i like to use the art line and usually I use a 0.3 um, but they come in all different weights so I like a 0.3 or a 0.5 Unipens are good and Microns are good um, then for the fancier style uh, pens uh, you can get Tombows which are good for brush lettering or if you want to you know have that thick and thin line so you can go to Jet Pens and they have a massive selection um, and Tombow also have these beautiful brush pens in different colors so these I love because you've got a nice brush end and then you've got this fine little texture style there and they're great I do like to color in with those and then I've got these new ones, the Ergo Pro, they're alcohol based. Um, so I'm just learning to play with these. They are a brush tip and also, oh, the Sharpie pen is really good. Sorry, I got distracted there. Um, oh yeah, so with the Ergo Pro, the brush tip and then that chiseled edge is quite handy. So. I'll probably experiment a bit more with those ones. Oh yeah, so with the Sharpie, they've got a lot of cool colors coming out. So they're a great one to have just in your pencil case. And another thing I like to use are colored pencils. So I found these cool ones from Officeworks and these are beautiful fluoro colors. So I really love fluoro. Um, another uh, pencil that I like to color in is watercolor pencils. I just find them super soft and really enjoyable. Um, so that's about it. I mean, I do have tons of things in my pencil case. I can't help it um, for pens, but for paper, I like to use sketch pad. I have one of these big guys. Um, I like to sketch in that. So that's got a lot of my rough drawings. Oh, it's falling apart. Probably not the best way to show you. That's handy. And then I also like this marker paper, bleed proof paper, which you can just draw straight onto it with pen. So any of the pens that I've shown you are great for this and they don't bleed through to the other side, which I find really handy. So I've just been having a play in here. Um, you know, lots of different shoes. Then I'm going to play with people and faces. Uh, what else do I use? Oh, I have one of these sketchbooks. It's a Claire Fontaine and it's really smooth paper and it's great for just sketches and writing. I like to not be fussy with my sketchbooks. I often will 
draw and write just random things all the time. So new Monday, new week, new goals. Uh, what else have I got? Messy bun, getting stuff done. That's me today. I got my bun and I'm getting stuff done. And sleep time essentials. At night time, I like to draw sleepy time things. So I take this around with me. I take it to bed. I take it on the school run when I pick up the kids. Um, another thing, this is probably my favorite thing to draw on at the moment, and it's just basic paper. Um, you can use your printer paper, and this stuff is A5, and it's from Officeworks, and I just like it because I'm not precious about it. I don't know how many times I've said that today, but I'm not precious about anything because I think if I am too worried about being perfect all the time, then I'm just not going to get anything out there. So, you know, with this little paper, I find it's great to do sketch. Oh, you probably can't see that sketches in. Um, and then I'll also do some random ink drawings. Um, you know, like this was something and then it was also, what's this? Oh, okay. Ideas that I had for a book that I was going to do. Um, what have I got here? You know, I just constantly draw and then write down my crazy ideas that I have or if I've learned something or if I've heard a cool quote. So I love just scrap paper and I'll often just grab a bunch also and I put it in my journal that I've got. I've got one of these cool dotted journals that I write my um, to-do lists in for the week and I've got a calendar and everything. And I'll just chuck it in like that and then I'll take that with me and I've got paper to draw on wherever I am. So I hope that's been helpful. Um, but let me know if you've got any more questions and I'd love to know what you use as well because I'm always curious to see what other people use to create their art with. All right, so hit me up and I'll come at you with another video. Bye.